Hi guys, it is Aoife from Words of Clover and I'm here with a book review for you guys today. So I'm actually going to just talk about five reasons why you should read The Happy Couple by Nisha Dolan, which is the book that I'm going to be talking about today. I received a copy of this book from Hatchet Ireland in exchange for an honest review and this is the review that I'm giving you now today. Um, I do have a physical copy of this book but I've already borrowed it out to friends and family because I think this is just a great book for people to bring on holidays and for pool reading and when I get to ask when I'm asked for recommendations um from friends and family about what if I have any books for for like a holiday I'm handing them this book because this is a perfect holiday read um so just a little bit of background about this book so in this book we are following Celine and Luke who are in their uh, middle 20s I think it is and they've been going out for a few years and then they end up in the first chapter of this they get engaged and this is basically about their engagement and the months leading up to their wedding where like they seem to have a really good relationship but then we are following the story Um, first we're following uh, from Celine's point of view who is the bride Luke who is the groom and then we are getting Phoebe who is Celine's sister and her maid of honour we're getting her point of view we're getting the best man Archie's point of view and then we were also getting um, one of Luke's best friends, Vivian's point of view as well. So we're getting like a lot of people who were kind of involved in the story and also people who were seeing the relationship from a lot of different angles leading up to the big day. And as we are getting lots of like everyone's angles on the relationship, we are seeing all different like versions of the relationship from people and also seeing a lot of like secrets and things coming out closer to the big day where you start wondering like, will this wedding actually happen or is it a good idea what's going to happen like how is this all going to be resolved and yeah it was a very very fun read and um i'm going to tell you all about it now so the first reason i'm giving for people to pick this up is because i think this is just especially for the time period we're in right now which is summer people might be going on holidays you might be going on plane rides or car rides train rides whatever i think this is the perfect book to read if you're going on holiday or if you have like some sort of journey where you need something to pick up or you need a book to read by the pool or on the beach or something like that because it's so fast paced you just get into the story really really quickly and um, just the pacing of the story is really really good as well you're just like literally like bam 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 through the the character POVs I read this basically all in one day and I just really really enjoyed my reading experience of it I felt like it's one of those ones that you you almost you read in one day not just because the pacing is really good and the the like the story it's not too long of a story but it's also one that you just you get really invested in and you're just like I just can't look away from this relationship and what is happening and I need to figure out what happens I need to see what happens I can't walk away until I know how this all ends up and that's exactly how I felt I just had to keep reading I felt like it was a very addictive read and yeah it was just absolutely perfect brilliant 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 for for any kind of journey and um, like this is one I would definitely recommend for people if they wanted a plain read because you could read like kind of like a short haul flight you could easily read this um, all in one go. One of the second uh, reasons why you should read this book especially if you're still in June and it is Pride Month um, is because this book is super queer which is really really nice. So basically every single character in this book who has um, a point of view is a uh, is queer in some way identifies as queer so I think four so Celine, Luke, Archie and Vivian are all bisexual um, and then Phoebe who is Celine's sister is a lesbian so um, yeah they're all and they all have had like relationships with men and women and and uh, we see like we see those past relationships kind of being brought up now and again and there is a little bit of a thing of like there has been, there's a lot of like people have like dated and kissed and slept with each other like in this group quite a lot. It also means that the dynamics of the story and the dynamics of all the relationships are also very heightened uh, and very very tense at times as well which really leads a lot to the story but I just really loved how this book kind of showcased a like a friendship group and relationships that aren't just like like heterosexual straight like you know what what you're you what you're almost used to seeing from like a lot of books in the past we're really seeing Nisha Dola does bring um she always I think she like well this is her second book but in her first book and her second book she's had bisexuality rep which I think is just a really really good thing to showcase and should have more in books and we have it from both sides you have it from both where the female characters are, are bisexual but also the male characters are bisexual um, and have had relationships with men and women and I that's just a very important thing to to have in your books. So the third reason I have uh, written down for this is that I feel like the friendship dynamics and also just the different points of views that you're getting with it throughout the story just really make the story really exciting and really fun to read because the very first chapter in this is Celine's chapter who is the bride and we're getting kind of the 
the story of the engagement, how the engagement came about, and then we get the engagement, the months leading up to the engagement party. And it's kind of at the end of the engagement party that like a few cracks begin to show and you start having a little bit like, oh, well, why did he do this? And why did she respond like this? And is this healthy? And is this the way you want to be like approaching your wedding where you're going to spend the rest of your lives together? And is this actually the relationship we thought it was at the very beginning of the book? And from that we go on to, to Luke's point of view and we see something completely different. We see a completely different side of things. We are suddenly like rethinking like exchanges and stories we've heard in the first part. We're rethinking them now that we know like how other characters are feeling and that kind of goes along with Archie's point of view, Vivian and Phoebe's point of view where you start getting a real like well-rounded view of the entire situation and the entire relationship and again I just thought it was a really fun way of getting the story and um, really getting everyone's like like ideas and everyone's perspective on what the relationship was like we see a few sly moments where some characters are kind of laying down some things that you know will make the, the relationship and the marriage a little bit difficult I will say this probably isn't one for people who really dislike bad communication in books um, no, so it does frustrate me sometimes bad communication in books or books where if characters just had a conversation the entire like messiness a solution plot of the book would be resolved in a moment this is one of those books if the characters just had an honest conversation with each other they would have uh, like fixed everything in like a few minutes um but obviously if they did that then there wouldn't be a story so so yeah this has a lot of miscommunication a lot of bad communicating um and a lot of like maybe if I don't say ever anything it'll be okay and obviously if you don't say anything things can fester and it can just make things way 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 worse so uh yeah Number four is because the way the story is set out as well, I think it has a decent enough kind of mystery around the story and a little bit of tension and anticipation because obviously you are leading up to the wedding. The wedding is like the finale chapter of the book. Um, but as you're kind of finding things out, you're finding like uh, like secret meetings between characters, exchanges, um, you're finding out something you didn't know in the first chapter, you're finding out like what actually happened in the second chapter so there's a little bit of mystery mysteries are unsolved throughout the book you're getting kind of you know revelations about different like relationships about different characters um point of views about their their views and their takes on different things that have happened so yeah that mystery is kind of un, like unfurling throughout the book and um, the mystery of of the relationship itself and the strength of the relationship and then you you have that kind of that anticipation for the wedding and what what will actually happen at the wedding will it go down will it I'll be like nice happy families people are happy with each other or will there be a big like big shebang um during it where they're like things could go down and things could get messy so you're kind of anticipating that so there's like that tenseness like that tense atmosphere in the book as well which I really really enjoyed reason number five for me is actually a very personal one so obviously I got engaged last year in October um as you can see by my ring on my finger um so it was kind of really interesting I'm kind of all like obviously in the process of uh, organizing my wedding at the moment which won't happen until next year but yeah so wedding planning is like a very big thing in my life at the moment and marriage and wedding and everything about that so it was very interesting reading a book that we were looking at a couple getting engaged and then leading up to the up to the wedding um because I was like I kind of feel like I'm in that like in that mindset uh, at the moment and there were just like there were things that they were doing in the book that I was like oh I don't think I do that for my own wedding now or I, I yeah like I don't agree with this or I do that differently and um, just from my own experiences now and trying to plan my own wedding and uh, it also just made me feel a lot better about my relationship I felt like I I'm in a really great relationship compared to the one in this book and yeah it just made me feel really happy and I was like like I'm obviously obviously I'm happy in my relationship because I'm getting married but it just it kind of just makes you feel better about the relationships that you have in your life that they're not as messed up as the ones that are in this book um so yeah that was just kind of a nice little thing to to round up the review that this book should hopefully make you feel better about your own relationships and if it doesn't I don't know I'll leave that to uh I'll leave that to you guys to to figure out so that is my review for The Happy Couple by Nisha Dolan. Please let me know if you guys have read this book, um, if you enjoyed it, I would love to know. I will also leave my review for Nisha Dolan's other book, Exciting Times Up Above, which I read um, also pretty much in one go. Uh, she definitely has a style of writing that I really enjoy in terms of fast pacey book. Love to know all your opinions. I would love to chat down in the comments. So um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys again next time.